Hey, this is Justin and you're watching wingsound.com. Let's say you have a guitar part that you want to double and make a guitar harmony, or the same thing goes for vocals. What I'm going to do is show you how to use the elastic pitch function in your elastic audio plugins to get this done. Okay, so I have two audio files here that are the same. He was cruel and a sadist. And I want to use elastic pitch to change the pitch of this audio. So what you need to do is enable your elastic audio plugin. So you have some options here, polyphonic, rhythmic, monophonic, and very speed. They don't really, uh, they aren't really that important for just changing the pitch, but polyphonic is if you have a more complex waveform audio that's a lot going on, it'll, you know, just Pro Tools will be able to, to read the file better. Rhythmic, if it's drums or something very rhythmic sounding. Monophonic, if it's a simpler audio file and various speed is kind of random. But like I said, these aren't too important for just changing the pitch. So I'm just going to choose polyphonic. And you need to get to your elastic audio properties. So you can right click on that on that audio file that you're changing and go to elastic properties and the window pops up. Or you can go to region and elastic properties. So in the window, in the Elastic Properties window, all you want to do is just change the pitch, semitones or scents, you know, if you want to get it real precise for whatever you're trying to do. I'm going to do it very drastic just so you get the idea of what it does. And you could also change the gain of it. You know, as you can see, the waveform is getting smaller. Well, and the rest of this this stuff doesn't really matter for just changing the pitch. Okay, so, and when you do something in Elastic Audio, the little Elastic Audio icon comes up to let you know that you're, you know, that it's enabled on that audio file. Okay, so this is what they sound like both together with the pitch shifted on one. He was cruel and a sadist. And, you know, here's just that file separate. Now, what it what you can do, it's in real-time processing, which means it has to use CPU power to play it back. Now, if you want to, you know, not do that, you could render you could render the file so it becomes a new file, and that's what it is, that changed file, and it won't use your CPU power. And there you go, and it's the same. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.